What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be doing a viewer request and I can't remember who requested it and it wasn't even that long ago, it was maybe a week ago. Somebody requested it, uh, a Mr. Valley High cocktail and so that's what we're gonna do. It, I thought that was a great idea, A, because it is an awesome drink, but B, because it has some really awesome history behind it. So the Mr. Valley High cocktail uh, was created at the Valley High restaurant in the 1960s and it was the signature cocktail and this was actually the signature mug. It should be in this particular Mr. Valley High cocktail mug. As you can see on the bottom right there, it says Valley High, San Diego, all right? I think this might be a newer version of it. There are some very expensive, more vintage ones. I'm not sure when, what year this particular vessel is from, but it is the original one and it was the best looking one. So I wanted to uh, get this one. So there are older versions. If you want to spend $400 on this thing, you can, but you don't have to. You can get a really nice looking one and make it in its traditional cup. Um, so this movie's, uh, sorry, this movie. Uh, this cocktail's history ties into uh, a 1935 movie called Mutiny, of the ba Mutiny on the Bounty with uh, Clark Gable, and he played a guy named Fletcher Christian. Now, during the filming, the film's producers and artisans built a complete Tahitian village on the island of Catalina, and part of that is they built a little hut uh, for the cast and crew to sort of take refreshment, I guess, and it was, it was known as Christian's Hut, it, I guess named after um, Gable's character. Um, when the filming wrapped, the hut was moved to Newport Beach and became sort of like a bar where lots of locals and celebrities would go and drink. Uh, and then that in turn, eventually, uh, I think there was like a fire on Newport Beach or something, and that eventually uh, moved to Shetler Island uh, off the coast of San Diego. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's Shetler Island, San Diego. I actually don't know that much about it. But so Shetler Island uh, is where this like this uh, this Christian's Hut uh, location kind of popped up and then it became known as the Valley High Restaurant. That is all of the history on it. I will do a little bit of a deeper dive. I found some other uh, cool tidbits about it that, I'll, that I put in the show notes, but I just want to get into making the cocktail. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is some fresh pineapple juice. And we're going to be just be doing one and a half ounces. And even though I double strain this, it is being temperamental. So one and a half ounces fresh pineapple juice followed up by one ounce of lemon, half an ounce of simple syrup. Now the original recipe calls for coffee brandy, but I thought it might be kind of nice to put this Mr. Black in here. Mr. Black, from a lot of what I've read and, and heard about when you use the coffee, like first of all, I'm not even sure I know of a coffee brandy label. That said, I wanted the coffee to really pop in this and this is not going to be a background ingredient. This is going to really pop. Not to mention the fact that I found out while testing this cocktail that coffee and pineapple is just, that flavor profile is to die for. So I really want it. So Mr. Black is, is made in, in, in Australia. It is made in batches of 300 bottles or less. Uh, they do, they basically roast the beans and make the coffee in cold brew and they also distill the vodka, put that together and make this product and it is awesome. So we're doing three quarters of an ounce of coffee liqueur. And then we're gonna do one ounce of white rum. We're using Cagna Brava from the 86 company. And then we're doing one and a half ounces of dark Jamaican rum. We're using Karuba, which is darned fine rum one and a half ounces and then we're just going to add our little skosh of crushed ice as we do to get the chill going and to get the dilution going but not to chill and dilute too much because we'll be putting this on crushed ice in this wonderful mug yeah also All right, and then we're just gonna pour it into our mug. And top it up with the crushed ice. And this drink actually doesn't need a garnish because the garnish is the, 
vessel's own skull cap. So there you have it. And then we picked a nice one of these glass straws from Surfside Sips that I, that I like to use. And here we have it. Let's try it out. Our Mr. Belly High. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Uh, pineapple and coffee is like my new favorite thing. It's so good. Pineapple. And, so the pineapple, you get that right up front. You get the nice acid that you're just going to need to round it out. So the, the great thing about putting, the reason why there is so much citrus, lemon or lime in cocktails is because that citric acid cuts the sweetness of the drink. So you have this citric bite going all the way through it, even though we're using a lot of very sweet ingredients. It's like perfectly balanced. It's really great. And you know, a lot of tiki cocktails, in my opinion, can be really overly sweet. And this is just like balancing all the flavors properly. The coffee, you know, you get that nice, you get the, the nice kind of demerara sort of feel of that dark Jamaican rum. You get the, uh, the, 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 it's not too sweet. The sweet is just right. So there you have it, my friends, the Mr. Valley High cocktail. Thank you, whoever you were that asked me to do this cocktail because it's a phenomenal drink. Uh, this is definitely going to be making it into my uh, summer rotation this summer. So there you have it. Uh, I guess that's it for this episode. If you guys like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash the educated bar fly. We've got lots of stuff going on there and I will see you guys in the next cocktail tutorial. So long.